Lewis, you, 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 ha you have a musical caucus over there, right? There's yeah. never a struggle for power over there, right? Uh, you guys no. pick a leader pretty easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I would you say got so. Got it on the first ballot. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta watch your back sometimes? Nah. No? Nah. You don't think Joe's gunning for you? Nah. Everybody, no? Everybody, All right. Everybody loves everybody. All right, good, yeah. good. Same thing in the GOP. They all just love each other oh. over there. Oh. Uh, today, speaking of love, just a lovely gentleman, one of my favorite guests to have on, and uh, just a funny individual. Mr. Jim Gaffigan is going to be out here. In just <laughs> and that's, uh, that's the name of that tune. Folks, I love science, except test tubes. They're lying to you. They're not really tubes at all. They're tall, skinny cups. And of course, I like to bring you all the latest science news in my long running segment. The Sound of Science. Hello, science, my old friend. Is that more of that? That's it? Did it used to be longer? Did it used to be longer? He didn't tell me. First up, Researchers say a new look at Otzi the Iceman's DNA has revealed new ancestry and other surprises. For instance, Otzi didn't have ancestors from the Caspian steppe, as previously thought, and that Otzi was balding. <laughs> Reached for comment, Otzi added, thanks. Any other flattering insights? Does my DNA say I sucked in the sack? And how about we blur my junk on TV? Thank you. And yes, it's not impressive, but it was inside a glacier for 400 years. <laughs> Next up. In genetics news, scientists have used the gene editing system CRISPR to make chickens more resistant to bird flu. I mean, that makes sense. Very hard for a chicken to get the flu once you've run them through the CRISPR. <laughs> wow. Mm. Uh, <laughs> it's bigger. Next up on SoundSide. Researchers have apparently been studying how to knock an elephant off balance. Research will soon be published in the International Journal of Being Dicks to Megafauna. <laughs> Researchers found that elephants rely on visual cues to maintain consistent timing of their strides, and blindfolds throw the elephants off. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> we all know how bad elephants are at hitting a pinata. Put a blindfold on the put a blindfold on the elephant. Why? Just do it. <laughs> it'll be it'll be funny. <laughs> Next up, new research into fossils shows that around 13,000 years ago, humans and fire changed LA's ecosystem forever. And to this day, humans and fire is still the city's motto. <laughs> Next up, beer. It's like if Pepsi came bread flavored. Scientists say the climate crisis will make Europe's beer cost more and taste worse, and issues with growing hops might cause beer to become much more bitter. But all that bitterness will help the taste of divorced dad pale ale. <laughs> you know their slogan, I'm actually doing really well. <laughs> Next up, scientists are trying to answer the question, can AI crave a favorite food by using a novel electronic tongue? I would love to see that grant application. <laughs> Need novel electronic tongue for taste bud sign stuff, definitely not for kissing practice. <laughs> Next up, 6,000-year-old sandals found in a Spanish cave are Europe's oldest shoes dating to the Mesolithic period, which means experts could be on the verge of identifying the earliest known dad to wear sandals with socks. <laughs> It's comfortable. Next up, scientists say that a toxin found in spider venom could help with erectile dysfunction. And I'm being told we have actual footage of this spider bite boner venom taking effect. <laughs> and finally, a new study says that cannibalistic Europeans likely ate their dead at funerals 15,000 years ago instead of burying them, then used their remaining bones as cups. Explains all those primitive novelty mugs that say, world's best dad, literally, this was my dad. <laughs> Until next time, this has been... The Sound. 
Jim Gaffigan.